Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is again our Old Testament reading for this past Sunday, which was the first Sunday after Christmas. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 45, verses 20 to 25, where the Lord said, Gather together and come, assemble you fugitives from the nations. Ignorant are those who carry about idols of wood, who pray to gods that cannot save. Declare what is to be presented, let them take counsel together. Who foretold this long ago? Who declared it from the distant past? Was it not I, the Lord? And there is no God apart from me, a righteous God, and a savior, there is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all you, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. By myself I have sworn my mouth has uttered in all integrity a word that will not be revoked. Before me every knee will bow, by me every tongue will swear. They will say of me, in the Lord alone are righteousness and strength. All who have raged against him will come to him and be put to shame. But the Lord, but in the Lord, all the descendants of Israel will be found righteous and will exult. My dear friends in Christ, many of the Christmas presents and gifts that we give and receive at this time of year, they, they end up ultimately giving a person just momentary joy oh when you think about the toys that kids get how, how long do they last how long do they exist before they break down or are no longer of interest and electronic gadgets well how long does it take for them to be outdated and you need to get something new to have the latest technology because of growth in one direction or the other, the clothes that we get at Christmas time, how long do they end up fitting? Or how soon till they wear out? Christmas candies and cookies and food, they're eaten and they disappear. Momentary joy. How many of us can even remember the Christmas gifts that we received for Christmas, say, last year or the year before. I doubt that many, if any, of us can remember what we received in previous years, unless it was a really special gift. And most of us probably couldn't even mention and list every one of the gifts that we got this year, unless, unless your family might be one that really limits the number of gifts that are given. We can't remember those things because they offer us momentary joy. But that's not true of our greatest and our best gift. Your best Christmas gift, it comes with the promise of heaven. That's something that's eternal. It's eternal and because God gave us Jesus, we have the forgiveness of all of our sins. We have spiritual peace and joy right now that's going to last forever because of Jesus. Our Lord said, in the Lord, all the descendants of Israel, that's the true spiritual Israel, believers. In the Lord, all the descendants of Israel will be found righteous and will exult. This is referring to the last day, to judgment day, when our Lord will come back to this earth to judge all people. Then through faith in Jesus, all believers, including all of us who have been graciously called to faith in him, will be found righteous or sinless because the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus, God's Son, cleanses us of all of our sin and, and because Christ's righteousness has been given to us, his holy, perfect life has been credited to us so that 
we're, we're clothed in Christ so that when God looks at us, it's as if he's seeing Jesus instead of us. And, and of course, Jesus, his son, and he's dearly, his dearly loved son, he's well pleased with him. And well, God's well pleased with us through faith in Jesus the Savior on the last day we'll be found righteous or sinless because of what Christ has done for us and just think of the rejoicing that we're going to do on that last day when the Lord comes when our Lord takes us forever to be with him in heaven as he promised us and Christmas time, we often hear of people who are sad and depressed because they aren't able to be with all of their loved ones and distance and disease and circumstances, even death can separate us from our loved ones. If we are separated from loved ones and aren't able to be together with them at Christmas or at other times, we can be comforted in knowing that because of God's Son, the Christmas gift that God gave to us, we'll be able to celebrate Christmas eternally with all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. And well, of course, that makes it so important that with especially family and friends, we would be sharing the Savior. And, and well, not just family and friends, with just absolutely everyone, we'd share the Savior. And just think of the wonderful celebration that we'll have at Christmas. And we'll have with a Christmas and, and, and Easter celebration forever in heaven because of what Christ has done for us. Oh, what was your best Christmas gift? When you hear that question, you might be inclined to answer with some of the things that you've received, but may God help us always to remember and treasure the gift that he gave to us, the gift from which you and I and all believers will benefit eternally. Your best Christmas gift comes with the promise of heaven. Your best Christmas gift comes from the God of free and faithful grace. It's a gift that God wants all people to enjoy. So now I ask you, what was your best Christmas gift? Did you get what you really wanted or needed this Christmas? May we always in faith answer, yes, I got Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, please help us to always remember that our best Christmas gift is from you. It's Jesus, our Savior, our way to eternal life the one who truly can and does bring joy to the world. Help us always to share that joy to the world so that everyone would know about Jesus, the Savior of the world. We pray in his name. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.